Journalists spend lots of time in the field, and one thing they all have in common is a creative journey on how their degrees got them there. A communication or journalism degree can help you land jobs in media, including online and print marketing, journalism, and public relations. In these types of programs, students strengthen their writing and communication skills to prepare them for careers in growing industries. So today, we will be learning about the creative journey of a communications degree from PWIs. First, we will head down to the School of Journalism and New Media that is located in Oxford at the University of Mississippi. They offer two hands-on interactive programs that give students the tools they need to build legacies and become expert storytellers. Whether majoring in journalism or integrated marketing communications, their students are prepared for the real world right now. Hi everyone, today we're here with Professor Mike Tonis at the University of Mississippi. He is a journalism coordinator and an instructional associate professor. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good. So I just wanted to ask you a few questions sure. about your background, your life, and what you do for the students here. Here, Professor Tonis will be explaining what he feels this School of Journalism and New Media has done for the institution as a whole. Well, for one thing, our program is, I think, the, the second largest on the campus. Really? And it's not the journalism side, it's IMC. The IMC side is relatively new. It started in 2011. So we've got like 1,300 majors. Oh, wow. And journalism, you know, it's three or 400. So it's given us some, you know, the, the holy, the growth has really put us on solid footing. Uh, people come, are starting to come to Ole Miss because of the IMC program. We've always had people coming for journalism. It's helped with the reputation. Uh, it has bolstered our, the, the, when I say school, I mean the School of Journalism and New Media. Uh, students coming in and getting exposed to both sides of the coin. Also during this session, Professor Tonis explains the advice he would give print journalism majors all across the world. Know how to do a lot of things, okay? Because even if you're going into broadcast, mm -hmm. the one common skill is writing. Can you write? We can teach them how to do broadcast. We right. can teach them about the, you know, the TV side. Send me some writers, people right. who know how to write. So no matter where you are, you know, and the, and the broadcast people have to know how to write for the web. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody, it, everything is multimedia now. There's very few print-only publications. Right, right. So, you know, that and keep your skills sharp. Do as much as you can and branch out. So right. more skills are needed now, the video, the you know, the other technologies that are used to communicate. We've come a long way from the day where you just took a press release down to the uh, newspaper right. or to the radio station and asked them to run it. You go where the times take you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next, Professor Tonis will discuss how involved and hands-on his students are on campus. I mean, again, I said, you know, we have sort of our little mantra, which is, you know, real world and hands on. Mm -hmm. So my students are writing at least once a week. They're producing stories. If they're, those stories are good enough, they get onto our you know, hottytotty.com or the Daily Mississippian, or you know, right. we try to get them enough to where they have a decent portfolio by the time they, they get done. This time, Tonis will explain what he feels stands out in his courses that maybe other institutions just might not acknowledge. We try to teach skills that go beyond, I mean, that, that would be traditional mm -hmm. journalism skills. So, you know, we, I'm sure, have a variety of courses that we're able to offer that smaller universities or colleges can't offer. By the same token, we're we're not. The, I mean, there are bigger programs than ours right. that offer a lot more. But we are, you know, we we talk, we work, we recruit, mm -hmm. 
uh, and try to get the, the results that we need to make us right. really reflect our population. Right. Whether you're on the front lines of a local protest, pitching new strategies in a boardroom, or coordinating content behind the scenes, the School of Journalism and New Media at Ole Miss gives their students all the tools and resources they need to learn valuable skills and compete for real world jobs. Next, we will be heading down to the University of Memphis, better known as Memphis State. The University of Memphis has a Department of Journalism and Strategic Media. Their programs prepare students for careers in advertising, journalism, public relations, and visual media. The Department of Journalism and Strategic Media offers hands-on training by faculty members with professional experience on the cutting edge of digital media. During my time here, I've met with Assistant Professor Dr. Shalise Macklin. And after this short break, we will hear from her and a few others about their experience here at Memphis State. My name is Dawn Fitzpatrick, and this is the creative journey of a communications degree from PWIs. Every day we take steps to keep the people we love safe, but some health risks are easy to miss. Ticks hiding in the yard can spread germs that can cause Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Mice searching for sources of food can spread bacteria and disease. Mosquitoes breed in standing water and can transmit illnesses like West Nile virus and Zika virus. Cockroaches are drawn to water in the home and can leave behind allergens that trigger asthma attacks. Stinging insects attack in defense of their nests and send more than half a million people to the emergency room every year. Household pests are a threat to our health. Learn what you can do to protect your family at pestworld.org. Welcome back to the creative journey of communication degrees from PWIs. Now, we will hear from some students in the journalism department at Memphis State about their experience of gaining their degree. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Noel. I'm a senior at the University of Memphis. I major in journalism and social media marketing. I think the best thing I could have learned while being here, time management is one of the biggest skills because being a reporter, we've always had like a deadline, so really learning how to get my work done on time in a timely manner and meet those deadlines, that's something I've learned. As well as, I want to say, good leadership skills because we've always had to work in teams for some type of project. So just being able to have effective communication skills and rely on everybody and, you know, kind of have problem and resolution, like work together in that. So those are some of the big skills I've taken away as being a student here. Uh, my name is Marlon Young. I am a public relations major and I'm a senior. Uh, I definitely say my experience has been, I feel like, unique because there's not many males in this field. So working with a lot of women has definitely been a unique experience for me. I do appreciate the community feel though, even though I am like a minority in that aspect. There's, there's really a team aspect, there's really a community aspect to help each other grow and help each other achieve the next level of success that we're trying to do. I think one of the biggest advantages of being a uh, public relations major in Memphis is the practicum, the MEMA 901. It's a student-led PR firm. We work with real world clients and we uh, lead the campaigns and assignments ourselves. Our director is a grad student and our assistant director is an undergrad student. It's really cool just being led by ourselves and working together to achieve real things. Uh, I definitely think knowing when to ask for help. It's been many times where there's challenges or things I didn't know how to do and like I wanted to be able to prove myself, right. but I didn't know how to do it. So I have to go and ask for the extra help that I needed to, in order to achieve the task. Right. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to add? Go Tigers! <laughs> <laughs> now, we will hear from Professor Dr. Shalise Macklin, a University of Memphis graduate. She will give us insight on what she does for her students here at this PWI and also about her other connections like NABJ that have helped bring her thus far. So my name is Dr. Shalise Macklin. I am an assistant professor at the University of Memphis, which is also my alma mater. I went here for undergrad school where I was a broadcast journalism major with a minor in communication. You are now. 
the best thing that NABJ has done for me has been the networking. So every year, as you know, they have an annual um, convention. Mm -hmm. This year's convention is going to be in Birmingham, but every year it's in a different city. When you go, you get to meet new people. And then you also sometimes, for me, I get to connect with a lot of my friends mm -hmm. who work in various news stations and various markets that we maybe used to work together or went to school together. And we could, it's almost like a homecoming right. for journalists. We're right. like, okay, we're going to see each other. Mm -hmm. We'll go to the, you know, different uh, seminars and things in the daytime. Then at night, you get to let your hair down. It's a great combination right. of skills and networking mm -hmm. as well as you still get a little party right. in there. But if I had to say the biggest thing that I have gained from being a part of it is the opportunity you get to go to like the career fair. They have mm -hmm. one each day that they have the convention where you can go and take your resume tape, your, really? your reel, your actual clippings and show different media outlets. And so you could leave the convention with an actual job. Right. It's one thing to be a journalist at all right. there's another thing to be a black journalist right. now dr macklin will take the time to explain what she requires her students to do for her courses here at the university of memphis i make them do both sides expect like i said particularly for the broadcast courses you have to create actual packages that's what broadcasters use whether it's online or if it's in a newsroom you have to actually utilize the skills but before we get there of course i teach them all the language and right. vernacular and then they learn how to do these things how to write but part of what they're doing as far as you said on campus they have to go out and interview people and create vote sites they have to create packages they have to create a resume reel at the end of the course they are required to not just do stories on campus, which is amazing and great, and I encourage that because you are a student, you should be telling the stories of what's happening on your campus, but they are in a unique position because they are in a large city right. that they can do stories that are happening on in the city. So they have the unique opportunity to cover the Grizzlies or the Memphis Tigers right. basketball team. So whether you want to be a sports reporter, entertainment, you want to do general news that does a lot with crime and politics and things of that nature, they have the opportunity to do so. So they are required to interview people and create news packages. Okay. The thing that I would like to say the most, I find it an honor to be able to help people mm -hmm. who were once in the same shoes I was in right. and be able to at least try to give them some of the things that I didn't get from the professors that I right. had at the time to make their experience as a broadcast journalism student a little bit easier and to make sure they're having fun while they're also learning things. Right. I want my students to leave the university ready for work day right. one. Right. Now we will hear from Dr. Robbie Bird, an associate professor to tell us why it's important for him to teach skills his students need right now. Dr. Robbie Bird, I'm an associate professor of journalism at the University of Memphis. It was really important for me to, to, to share with students the skills that they needed to be a journalist now, mm -hmm. right? And those have evolved since I began. So I've been doing this for eight years now. And even since you know the time I began to, to now, those skills have evolved. So we try to stay current. So over the years, we started with multimedia storytelling, which we introduced photojournalism, video journalism, audio journalism, um, and then I've also introduced a podcasting class since mm -hmm. then. We've done some video documentary classes since then, but it's really also about the equipment. So okay. since I've been <laughs> here, we've added to our equipment room where students have access to DSLR cameras, microphones, uh, podcasting equipment, video equipment, that kind of thing. Because we do like for our classes to be hands-on. Mm -hmm. Experiential learning is a big thing for me, uh, which means the students not only learn the theory behind what they're doing, but actually go out right, and do it. Right, right. Yeah, also all of our journalism students have to complete an internship mm -hmm. uh, or a practicum. And so those can be anywhere, but the practicum experiences are things that are in, in the building. Mm -hmm. So they can work at the student newspaper, the Daily Helmsman, they can work at the student radio station, The Roar. They can work at the student TV um, station, it's called Tiger News. And they take the skills they learn in class and they produce news stories um, or radio shows. Some of them are just music shows, but so they, they get a lot of hands-on experience because 
going into the job field without hands-on experience is, is almost impossible. Well, all right, everyone. This is Don Fitzpatrick, and I thank you all for watching my documentary on the creative journey of a communications degree from PWIs.